Roger and Marcy Bronx. This is Roger and his wife Marcy and their daughters Zoe and Hannah. And they are neighbors that we get our pigs from. And they're very friendly neighbors and they have very friendly pigs too. So, um, Roger, how long have you been farming organic? So, started transitioning in 2015, so certified first year was seven. Yeah. So they, they've kind of been getting into organic farming and raising pigs. And um, do you know what breeds these pigs are? Um, they're old spot. Uh, ants. We got the door in them. Uh, herpes. Herpes, yeah. It's a herpes. Okay. A little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. Very mixed. Yeah, it's all dirty. Okay. What up? Tell us a little bit about the feed that we're, you're feeding as far as, of course, they're out here rooting around like pigs love wow. to do and Tearing up, tearing up, looking for grubs and and worms and whatever they roots they can find in the soil. But um, what are you? What else are you feeding them? Um, their feed ration is organic corn, organic rice and beans, and then uh, twine nutrients. A couple of twine nutrients. Okay. Girls, what what's your favorite part about the pig? Tasting them. Tasting them. <laughs> there are a lot of work to raise, but we all enjoy pork. Yeah. So, Marcy, what, what, um, I know you, you are very cautious and conscious, I should say, about your health, health of your family. And what, what kind of inspired you to go more the natural route and, um, yeah, organic farming and all that? Yeah. Well, I mean, the kids, of course, that was the, the main thing. I mean, we, we tell them what we feed the world and, and here we are raising things that that they can't eat and so and and pork is a little harder to find um organically and they're very efficient at storing um toxins in their fat if they're fed things that you, know, you wouldn't want them to eat and so it's you know it's really beneficial to have them eating things that we consider um healthier and mm -hmm. so that's that's interesting you stop mentioning the toxins and the fat I never, I never even thought about that as far as pigs being that way. Something I just learned from Seven Sun is that, um, like 80% of the antibiotics in the U.S. are used on commercial livestock, mm -hmm. and pigs are a big one that they use antibiotics and drugs on. So these pigs have never, never seen any of that. Right. And um, I really enjoy lo like looking out in the morning and watching them playing, um, watching their tails lagging in commercial settings. They don't have tails um, because they're, they're anxious and they're, they're shoved together and bored. And so it's really neat to see them, you know, playing and kicking up their back feet and just being really happy. So right. back to what we were talking about earlier, healthy soil. Healthy plants, healthy animals, and healthy, vibrant communities. So, it's a wonderful thing to have neighbors and friends that um, farm naturally, farm organically, and raise products that, so we, you know, we don't have to raise everything that, that we provide to you. We can all work together and, and share and, and have a diverse diet and have good, good farm products. So, thanks a bunch for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed this and um, yeah, do you have any any last words for folks or anything you'd like to share? Or? Eat more bacon. <laughs> okay. Well, I know more next year. Yeah. Yeah. Pork chops.